Hello and welcome back to the final episode of my Fortnite tutorial series. Before we start, let me quickly tell you that in the video description of this episode, you will find a download link to the complete project on Mediafire. So if you're experiencing any issues or maybe just don't want to follow along with all the previous videos, you can download it there. We are actually done with all of the features in Fortnite. However, in this video, I just want to show you how quickly and easy you can add additional content and expand your system. The first thing we'll do is add a custom resource that doesn't exist in Fortnite, which will be ice. If we have a look at our textures and resources, we already got the icon snow here. Let me just quickly rename that to ice to avoid any confusion. And in our materials folder, we've got the M underscore eyes, which was based on a tutorial of Dean Ashford on YouTube. Both of these assets were already imported in episode number one, if you can't find them in your project. And to create our resource, let's head over to blueprints, classes, right click our BP master resource, create chart blueprint, and let's call that resource underscore eyes. Then we'll open that up. You only have to worry about the class defaults here. So the name will be ice. Icon will be icon underscore ice. The building material will be m underscore ice. And for the ghost building color, let's just make that opaque and choose a very light blue. Something like that. Then hit OK. Compile, save and close your class. Then we also have to tell our player that he should be able to use this resource. So let's open up the third person character. Then we will select the player resources. And here under resources, add one element and select resource underscore eyes. Then compile and save in here. You might remember that the resource selected when building has an influence on some of the values of buildings. For example, the building time or the maximum health. Now that we've created another resource, we also have to update that resource versions of the buildings. So let's open up our building floor. We want to add one element, which will be resource ice. And then we can enter some values. So let's make it that our ice is very quick to build and has a lot of maximum health, but the required amount will be much higher than other resources. So let's say we need 30, then a building time of 1.2 seconds maybe, and the maximum health of 500. Compile, save. And we have to do the same thing for all of our other buildings. So building stairs. And let's also open up the building wall. Start with the wall, so add one resource version resource underscore ice. Say we need 45 of that. Building time can be 1.2 again. And let's say 800 maximum health. These values really doesn't matter. So feel free to enter anything you want. Compile and save. And finally for stairs, also add the resource ice. Required amount of let's say 30. Building time of one second and a maximum health of 400. Compile and save. Then close it. That's it already for all of the logic that you had to create. There's one visual aspect though, and that is that in our main widget, let's quickly open that up, we've got our resource box. Currently it's laid out to contain three elements and has a size in X of 200. After adding a resource, it will now contain four elements. So let's just bump up the size in X to something like 300. That should be enough. And if we then compile and save, Let's play and see whether that's already working. All right, back in play mode, you see that we've got four resources now. And if I enter building state, I can go through all of the different resources using my right mouse button. However, we set up keys that will give us wood, stone and metal, but didn't do that for ice. So let's change that in our third person character. Let's look for the number keys that we already implemented here. Here they are, one, two and three. Let's just look for four. Hit enter. Then we can copy the add resource node, paste it, hook up the player resource as the target and select ice as your resource. We then compile and save everything should work. So I will hit four to add some ice. There it is. And then let's try to build a wall of ice. Currently that's wood, stone, metal, and now it's ice. 800 HP, 45 ice is needed. Let's build it. And you see the mesh was built very quickly and the ice material is applied to it. Of course, it also works for all of the different types of buildings. So stairs and finally the floor. Now hopefully you've seen that it's extremely simple to add other resources to the system. 
Let's try to do the same thing for buildings. So we want to add a custom one, which will be a door. And if we have a look at our meshes folder, we already added the door mesh here in the first episode. So just head over to blueprints, classes, and we could just create a child of our BP master building or copy one of the other child classes. I will create a child blueprint class called building underscore door. Then open it up. Let's do the class defaults first. So the name will be door. Hotkey will be the next one in our list, which is F9. Icon will be icon underscore door. Then we've got our resource version. So let's say for wood, we will need 10 time of 1.4 seconds and 200 health is fine. For stone, that will be 15. And let's say health of 300. Then metal will be 20. Building time of three seconds and let's say 500 HP. And remember that you now have to add the fourth element, which will be ice and set up your values there. So let's say 45 building time of 1.2 seconds and 800 health. All right, compile and save. Then head over to the viewport, select your building mesh. And instead of wall, we will use the door. So you see that just added a little hole in here. Then select your box and let's just lower the Y to minus 60. Compile, save and close that class. Again, we have to tell our player that he should also be able to build that kind. So open the blueprint editor, go to the building manager and here you've got the buildings array. Let's add one element to that and select building underscore door. Compile and save, close your third person character. And same as with our resources, let's head over to the main widget because in here we've got the buildings box, currently a size of 287 pixel in X. Let's bump that up to 385. We then compile, save and test. You will see that under F9 we've got another building that we can place. So let's select that. Here's the preview of it. I'll just add some wood and build it. And there it is. Let's try to walk through that, which is also working. If your character doesn't fit through the door, it would be as simple as lowering the scale of the character mesh and its collision, so capsule collision in that case. I hope that you were able to see how quickly you can modify the system to fit your needs. And that's it for this episode and the whole Fortnite tutorial series. Please tell me what you think about it in the comments and I will see you in another series.